Good morning, HCA, and welcome to ESBN, that's Eagle Sports Broadcasting Network. Uh, we've just finished the final four, and uh, wow, two games that were close in score, uh, and some fun things to talk about. I'm joined today between or with uh, Coach Nevins, Coach Kane, and Coach Mack, our sports and food gurus. Uh, let's talk first about the elephant in the room. Uh, we what had a little wager. We, <laughs> we had a we had a wager yesterday. Which which game would be the closest? Coach Mack and I chose Waterburger and Chick Fil A, and we lost. So that is why you see we didn't Mack lose. Goes. The people of Rockwall lost. Yeah, sure. The people we'll, of Rockwall we'll let us down. Coach Mack, let's let's see what 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 are you wearing on your head there? I have TT on my hat. Rackham, baby. Yeah. I believe good. this stands for the uh, fine people of West Texas at Texas Tech University, the Red Raiders. Uh, but all I see is that there's TT on my head. Well, you look good, and, and you're wearing – you color coordinate here. You've got your car in the background, red and black. you got red and black on your head, and you've, you're wearing the red jacket. Tell us about the red jacket. Well, it's a big day. This is my big game red. I break this out for all the big games, the HCA bash, the – any fundraising event. This is my go-to. So we're breaking out the red. It's a big day. We're down to the finals here. Uh, we got two great competitors to go at it. Um, it's just the only sad day is that Babes didn't make the final, and I've got on this goofy hat. Coach Nevins and Coach Kane, how are you feeling about winning your portion of the wager? You know, I, I underestimated Kane's the whole way through the bracket up until this last week. They just have such a strong showing every single week. And I didn't think I, – I knew it was going to be popular, but I didn't think they were going to plow through their side of the bracket the way they did. And so I saw it coming, and that's why I had got a little sneak attack on Mac and got him wearing the, uh, the good-looking red and black there. That matches the school colors anyway, Mac. Come on now. I think, I think my most important thing that I want to focus on when we're, when we're talking about this loss of this wager is that – at the end of the day, you have the old man who thinks he always knows his ways and, and thinks he's the old wise guy. But at the end of the day, these new guys come in and uh, we know what we're talking about from time to time. So just, just thought I, I want to I sit on the fact of, of Mac is the old man that lost in this situation. Well, there, there are some facts that Kane got true in there. Yes, I am the old guy. Yes, I'm generally right. I'm not afraid to follow through with my bets. However, I would like it noted that my final is 100% correct. Hey, you're not alone. I mean, my final four was 100% correct, and my final for the championship game is also 100% correct. I think yeah. anybody that's actually choosing to win has this final. I mean, this, this is the final that everybody saw coming. There's no big surprise here with the two heavyweights clashing here in the final. So the championship, this is, this is where – this is where the winners are going to are going to come out though. You've got two massive heavyweights right here. This is Duke Carolina. This is this is the old old uh, Cowboys, Packers, Steelers. This this these are like the heavyweights of their sport right here that are coming at it in the championship game and rarely do you do you see the two best teams come out in the championship but right here we see it. So we've got a special guest today. Uh, we'll let him weigh in on his thoughts from uh, today's game and the whole tournament and uh, to the, the championship uh, coming up. But we've got senior Carson Biggerstaff, the man himself. Uh, Coach Mack, talk about his pedigree a little bit. Well, Carson is a uh, dual sport captain, a all-district performer in three sports, and all, first uh, all-state performer in basketball. Carson has been on many a HCA food trip with us. So he's got a lot of insight on what you're going to get here out of a Chick-fil-A versus Chiloso. He's a Rockwall native. Um, he's a, he's a HCA. He, he has cemented himself as legendary status in the HCA athletic department with all of his awards. Um, he's going to be right up there with the Brendan Shrepfers and the Christian Pettits and the Jared Huckabees. And the, I mean, you name them all, they're, they're up there. So uh, Carson's very pedigreed. He, he fully understands the rock wall food scene. And um, I'm really anxious to see what he's wearing today. I, I'm sure the curls are going to be out and we might even see a little bow tie action. 
All right. Well, uh, that's a great introduction. Let's bring him in uh, into our meeting. Carson Biggerstaff. Yo. Is that Justin Bieber? Um, that is Justin Bieber, actually, yes. I just gave you this big intro, and you, you have to have, have a Dwayne Wade jersey on. Wait, what? Is that a Dwayne like Wade jersey? Yeah, you know. Oh, my gosh. I can't okay. possibly wear that. Okay. Oh, Carson, how's it going, man? Uh, it's going. It's going. It's okay. Talk to us about the HCA Restaurant Royale. Um, how have you felt um, about the tournament? Most of the most of the matches, I think I thought you know ended up the way I thought they would. But the fact that McDonald's got out in the second round to Dairy Queen, I think that uh, I don't know, man, maybe mad. Yeah. So I got a question for you, Carson. I knew I knew Coach Kane. I knew Coach Kane wouldn't like that. Uh, that upset. Yeah. So I I was upset with it, and I've kind of spoken my piece about it. So I want to know what what made what what do you think uh, made McDonald's lose out to Dairy Queen so early? Um, discuss, I discussed this with multiple people, and they think that uh, since Dairy Queen's right across the street from HCA, I think people just leave HCA, go grab a blizzard, and then go home. So I think that uh, convenience, maybe. So they didn't actually take into account, you know, quality or price and stuff. So, so you're saying it was blizzard versus McFlurry, and McFlurry went down in round two? Yeah, I think, I think Dairy Queen single-handedly beat – I think the blizzards beat – beat mcdonald's i don't think anything food or anything else uh, came into play okay talk to us about uh snuffers and fuddruckers the debate that that's all that is uh ubiquitous among the senior class yeah um talk about the, talk about uh some of those matchups um i did i don't think they, they actually didn't meet up but uh, i thought fuddruckers got out a little early you know i'm a big fan of fuddruckers i've gotten in fist fist fights arguing Fuddruckers versus Snuffers. So, um, yeah, that one that one hurt to see them go out so early. I really thought they were a Final Four, at least. So, Well, Carson, I'd like to ask you a question. What do you think of the controversy in round two between the In-N-Out Burger and Babe's Chicken House? Oh, yes. I also saw that. Yeah, Babe's was not successful in the California Dreaming region to In-N-Out Burger – controversially with votes after the time period not being counted yeah that that surprises me uh i just feel like i feel like there's more in and outs than there are babes so i think that kind of people will know more about in and out and but if you if the only if everybody who voted had gone to babes at least once then babes would have gotten every single vote so carson talk to us about uh today's matchups you had whataburger against chick-fil-a and canes versus uh, Chiloso, uh, what do you think of these games, and what were your expectations? Yeah, um, the Ch Chiloso, Whataburger, and Chick Fil A. I kind of expected them to all be in the final four. Canes, though, I'm not a big Canes guy. I think uh, chicken's a little soggy. Honestly, it's kind of gross. I don't like Canes at all. So, but so surprised to see them there. But the other three, I expected them to be there. So, what do you think, Chick Fil A or Chiloso? What's the Carson bigger staff prediction uh, for the championship game. You know, I'm all for Chiloso just because, you know, the hometown feel, but I'm going to have to give it to God's food, Chick-fil-A. He's going to take it home. Wow. He played the card. <laughs> he played the card. I the had God to. The card versus Rockwall's own Chiloso. I had to. I didn't think Carson would go with the chicken at all. You know, we've yeah. had some chicken issues in the past, so I thought you'd be voting against chicken every round. Yeah, that's why. That's kind of why I don't like Canes because I had some multiple bad experiences with Canes and their chicken. But but Chick Fil A is Chick Fil A is an exception to that. Chick Fil A, man. So I think you're. I, I went with Chick Fil A too. But what do you, in your mind? What puts Chick and then the students of HCA? You're representing them. What puts Chick Fil A? over Chiloso is it the mac and cheese I have actually not tried the mac and cheese because I don't want it to ruin my uh my reputation that I have for Chick-fil-a I just think Chiloso if I go to Chiloso every day I'm eventually gonna get tired of it but Chick-fil-a I could eat Chick-fil-a every single day and like never get tired of it and so I think that that kind of that's why I'm gonna take them in the championship okay so I'm a Polynesian guy what sauce are you 
no sauce, all natural. You gotta, you gotta uh, respect the the original taste. I, you know, I don't like to ruin the the chicken's flavor with a bunch of sauce. So. Do you tell me you don't even like jalapeno ranch? Uh, can't say that I do, Coach Kane. Wow. Coach Mac, yeah. you talked pretty highly of Carson here. I'm starting to well, question. Here's the <laughs> what? I can still respect Carson for who he is, even though we don't always agree. And by the way, we don't always agree. Carson and I have had some great conversations where we're on the other side of the fence. That's but true. he's still my boy. Sir. All right, Carson, what do you think the score – so you think Chick-fil-A is going to win out. What do you think the score is going to be? Is it going to be a blowout? Is it going to be a close game? Um, I, think it, I think it should be close just because – I think Chiloso needs a little bit of respect, even though I don't think they're going to win. But I have a feeling it's going to be a blowout. I don't know, though, because also today the water, that Whataburger, they got more points than I thought they would have. So who knows? All I know is Nevins has been shaking his head, putting his hands in his <laughs> head in his hands the whole hey, see, time that Carson's see, been on. So I can't wait to hear this knockdown of oh. what's about to happen to Carson Biggerstaff and Coach Nevins. See, I'm on my phone, so I can only see whoever's talking. So I haven't been able to see Nev Dog's reaction. So. Man, CB, <laughs> I'm disappointed, dude. We build this up as the battle, the final four, the battle of the sauces, and you don't even use any of the sauces. This, the Choloso so has a can sauce. Ranch. Yep. You've got Chick fil A with all the different sauces, including their golden Chick fil A sauce. That's what put them through, man. Without those sauces, no, way. No way. The, sauces no. the food is, is no better than some of the others, but the sauces put them over the top. And you talking about eating Chick-fil-A every day? Come on. Seriously? I can eat Chick-fil-A every single day. So you don't eat chicken, the mac and Chicken cheese minis in the morning, chicken. strips in the afternoon, and a sandwich for dinner. Every day. A chicken, chicken, and chicken. Yes, sir. Variety. With no bro. sauce. With no sauce either. Variety. Wow, hey, that's a lot of chicken. Well, the only thing I would get at uh, Ch Chiloso is a chicken taco. So, oh my goodness, or a chicken quesadilla. Who invited this guy? What is he doing here, man? <laughs> Golly, <laughs> he shows up in the Dwayne Wade jersey and then he talks about all he eats at. Uh, you know, well, hey, he uses no sauce, and then he says, Oh, I just get a chicken taco at Chiloso. I mean, golly, man. This Who isn't is this? a sauce. This was not a sauce contest. This was a restaurant. You know, the, what the actual food that they make. Because, like, if I if I did eat sauce, though, I would just – if I liked one sauce better, I'd just go get a bunch of sauce and then eat Chick-fil-A chicken with that sauce. Carson, in, a, in evaluating <laughs> what makes a restaurant good, uh, how, how do you weigh restaurant value? Obviously, taste, like quality, and then price for me being a broke high school student, and then time. So, because I'm usually going to be in the drive-thru. And so if I'm waiting in the McDonald's drive-thru for five seconds and then I go to uh, Whataburger, Whataburger takes like 25, at least the one in Rockwall takes a good 25, 30 minutes every time. So that's why Whataburger kind of went down on my list. But, yeah, so probably time, quality, and price are the three biggest factors for me. Man, I feel like I'm talking to the oldest man on the panel now. You're like an old dude. <laughs> Which one has the best coffee? Nah, I just drink Red Bull. I don't drink coffee. Oh, man. Coach Mac, any, anything, final words that you want Carson to say to uh, athletes or to seniors or things like that? All right, Carson, you finished up your four years, uh, actually five, at Heritage Christian Academy with the athletic department. You got many high accolades. Yeah, lots of respect from um, the coaching staff that, that's on this panel. Um, that since apparently you're I just lost. This in an official senior chapel. What are your words of advice for future Eagles and Lady Eagles coming up in the athletic department? Probably just to, like, get involved and do as much as you can. Like, like eighth grade, I was running track with Nevins, and, which I didn't do in high school. And then sophomore year, I didn't play football, but I ran cross country instead. And then all four years, I played football, basketball, baseball. So just kind of get involved, and you got to figure out what you like and what, what's best for you. All right, there you go, Lee Eagles and Lady Eagles of the future. The captain has spoken. All right, Carson, thanks so much for being on the show. Uh, yes, we miss you, man, and uh, give all our love to the rest of the senior class for us. Yes, sir, I will. Peace out, Goldilocks. Uh, see you, all man. Right, see, you. see you, man. All right, well, man.
What a treat having Carson on the show with us. Uh, what are y'all's thoughts? I think Carson's out of his mind. It's clueless. No sauces. Man, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what he was thinking. Uh, I, I, don't, I, I think – I mean, I think he's right with Chick-fil-A, but I think his logic of, of getting there and, and how they actually win this whole thing is, is just just completely wrong. What do you I mean? If you're talking about the hike, how, you, how can one possibly eat Chick-fil-A all three meals? There's no way. Like, so for me, uh, and with him having that opinion, I just, I don't understand. Yeah, you know, thinking about it after being around him, and athletics all of these years, Mac, you can attest this, and Kane, you can too. He is a very specialized child when it comes to his diet, when it comes to what he – he's very picky. It's and true. so we should have known, bringing him on the show, that he was going to have some really weird opinions, some really off-the-wall you know, ideas on who's going to win and who should have won. So, Which, I mean, at the end of the day, it brings variety to the show. You know, we had the vegan come in here and, and – or I'm sorry, the vegetarian with Coach Walker, and she gave the vegetarian point of view, and I guess Carson had the picky point of view. And, uh, I mean, it's good to get variety in the show. But here's the thing. This is what I love about the tournament is that you get so many different opinions, so many different criteria for voting uh, and, and reasons why people choose, at, which makes the championship game all the more exciting because you just don't know why somebody's going to pick – which restaurant and for which reasons, uh, you never know. Uh, so I think, there's some, I think there's some excitement with that uh, for this tournament. So let's talk about the championship game here. Uh, I think that there's three of us for Chick-fil-A and then the minority there with Nevins and Chiloso. Yeah. Uh, Nevins, let's, let's start with you. Why do you think Chiloso is going to take this over Chick-fil-A? God's food, as Carson said. You know, for me, it's the grilled avocado. Uh, but I think for Rock Wallians, it is all about the ranch, man. It's all about the ranch. Chick-fil-A's got their Chick-fil-A sauce, but the ranch, man, they hand that stuff out. Every time you go there, you can put it on anything that they, that they serve. Um, the ranch is going gonna, is gonna to put them over the top. Chiloso was taken down. Everyone, everyone Chick-fil-A has too, but I feel like the Canes was a bigger opponent for Chiloso, and still Chiloso still manhandled them pretty good. And so I don't know, you know, Chiloso, it's just that rock wall hometown. Chick Fil A's are all over the place. Chiloso just has that hometown feel. I think that when it comes down to the two of them, there's just going to be a sentimental vote there more so than the, you know, the the academy vote for the Christian organization. I think Chiloso is going to get that sentimental hometown vote. And, they're going to take them down. It's going to be close. I think either way it's going to be close, but I think Chiloso is going to pull it out. I just don't see how that happens. I really I, – I'm a big fan of Chiloso. Probably more of a fan of Chiloso than Chick-fil-A, if you ask my honest opinion, uh, where I'd rather go on a given night or day or for breakfast. I just can't see how the people – I'm going to take in the cane logic here, and I'm taking what will happen – over what I want to happen. And what I want to happen is for Choloso, the hometown hero. We all know I'm a local guy. I love local restaurants. I just can't see how the national power doesn't take out the regional power here. I just don't see how it happens. I, I'm with Nevins 100% of the way. I just, I'm going to go with the smart bet here. And the smart people are going to say Chick-fil-A all the way. Oh yeah, I'm in I'm in total agreement with Mac and and use that exact same logic to get there. I mean, if I had it my way, I would have a you know Whataburger and Chiloso duking it out. I mean, those are my two top favorites, uh, and and McDonald's if we could throw McDonald's in there. Um, but at the end of the day, uh, I just I, I totally agree. I don't I don't think uh, there's any way that Chiloso um, it really even comes close. I don't I don't think you'll see a close matchup at all. Uh, my prediction is that Chick-fil-A will at least win by 20, uh, at least 20. Is there another bet, uh, another bet coming here? I don't even know if there's another show. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the recap We're show. We're contracted uh, to one more show. Yeah. We got the wrap-up show that we have to do, so we got one more show. Uh, uh, if we can get the – if we can all have our the, the winning food delivered to us, and we could all be eating that that food. Yeah, I could do that. 
So anybody wants to take the the under on 20, I will personally buy yours if you'll wager buying mine. I don't think Mrs. Kane liked that too much. <laughs> yeah, she didn't. <laughs> <laughs> my girl Hojo over there. I'm sorry, Hoko over there. Okay. Giving out the nose. Yeah. I got you, Kane. All right. I'll take a piece of that action. I don't mind buying you guys dinner. Wait. Which one? I pretty you much think? did that for all year long, didn't I? <laughs> You're the old man. That's what happens. I know. I can't wait for somebody else to be. Oh, never mind. That's not going to happen. <laughs> yes, I'm reminded all the time. I'm the old coach. That's that's the job of the old coach is to feed the staff. So I'll He's be doing that again. He's so what's the bet? Twenty. All right. So I'll, I'll take the over on twenty, and y'all take the under. So we're saying that the game will be closer than 20. Yep. And you're saying it'll be larger than 20. Yep. There's no way. And it's going to cost me Chick-fil-A. That is correct. There you go. Yeah, I'm with Kane. I think it's going to be a blowout. I think Chick-fil-A is going to blow out Cheloso. Oh, so the two youngest guys are going against the two older guys. Hey, don't let, don't love me in your category, Mac. <laughs> <laughs> I said older, okay. not old guys. But I do think the beard has made me look even older on screen. A little, uh, a little Chris Kringle-ish. Maybe. I think I might keep it, Nevins. It's not a bad look. Yeah, you got the red suit and the beard and red hat. I mean, it's working, man. The red sleigh behind you. Pull the I mean, top I down. think it'll look on Friday nights on the sideline. Will I look more like, will the referees give me more uh, cred? They might not mistake you for the assistant coach anymore. <laughs> That's true. Why they pick the short guy? I'm the old guy. Uh, it's like I'm the consultant, like I'm Nevin's dad. Oh, you got your dad coaching with you. All right. Well, uh, so there it is. We've got a little wager going uh, for, for the championship game. This should be fun. Uh, and, well, yeah, we'll have one more show. Uh, we're going to reflect on what we've learned. Uh, some of the best matchups, the best games, how far different teams came, and we'll recap. And you'll get to hear more from our coaches. Uh, coaches, any final words for uh, this championship game? I just look for Chick Fil A to take it. I it's it's going to be a game. Yeah, it's Chick Fil A plus twenty. I, I don't think it will be a game. Chick Fil A plus twenty. You know, I don't know how many students actually watch this or how many people actually watch this. I think we're over, not over a lot. Maybe on 20 people on this, too. <laughs> yeah, not a lot. <laughs> if you are watching this, vote for hometown. Vote for Rockwall. Well, let's see if we can get over 100 votes for this championship game. Uh, we've, we've gotten real close each day, and uh, let's see if we can get over 100. Uh, let your voice be heard. Uh, this is your chance to, to say who is going to win Who's a better restaurant, Chick-fil-A or Chiloso? So uh, tell your friends, tell your family, and uh, let's see who will win the HCA Restaurant Royale. This is the last ch chance that you have to vote. So get out there and vote, uh, follow along, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing what happens. Coaches, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, we'll see you back for one more show. Y'all take care. Wreck them back.